It's another Monday here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time, we're going to talk about function or not function for a certain representation of your function. So we'll be talking about graphing here. This is one representation of your function. And we wanted to know whether it's function or not. So let's try to examine and go deeper into knowing whether this graph here is function or not. So we'll start off with this. So again, in determining whether your graph, graphing representation of your, your function or equation is function or not, then we have to make use of our VLT. So I hope you are familiar with VLT. VLT is vertical line test in which you will be creating a straight line or drawing a straight line anywhere on your graph. And if that vertical line passes through more than one point on that graph, automatic that becomes not function. So if it only passes at one point on your graph, then that's function. So let's try to check this out. So again, let me just draw a straight line here. So forgive me if I cannot draw a straight line. There you go. Assuming that that's a straight line. So if you try to look at that one, there are two points intersected on that one. By the way, you can draw anywhere on your graph, your vertical line. So here, I chose to draw this one here. So we have two points intersected. So this becomes not function. Because again, when you try to draw vertical line test or when you try to do vertical line test, it must be that the one that you've drawn as the vertical line will only be passing at one point on the graph so that you can consider that one as a function. So I hope that's clear. You might be asking whether this one here, what this one really um, represents. This one, this one is an open um, point in which you've got that representation as this point here is not part of your range and the domain. So again, this point here is not part of your domain and range. So I hope that makes sense. Now, if you can see also this one here, this is the shaded, that would indicate that this point here is included as part of your graph, as part of your domain, and the range values. So let's get, get on and move on to the next example. Next example is this one. So if you try to draw somewhere here your vertical line, you would notice you only have one point intersected with that vertical line and so with your graph. But if you try to draw it that here, you can have here two points intersected by that vertical line and so with the graph. So this makes it not function because again, when you try to view your shaded here, this one here, this would symbolize that this is part or this point here is part of your graph. This is part of your listing on the domain and the range. And so with this one. So this would simply mean that this point here is similar to this or the X value here is the same as this one here. This might be somewhat like 1.9 something or which is closer to 2 but they are the same with respect to the value of your x so that's why this becomes not function already next example we go for this one so if you try to look at this one if you try to draw a vertical line passing through this point here you would notice there are two but take note on this one, this is hollow. That means this is not part of your domain and range or the point here is not part of your domain and range. Our point here is negative two and one. This negative two is not part of your domain 
and that one there is not part of your range because this is hollow or open so it's not included but on this graph here this one here the negative 2 and so with the negative 3 is part of your domain and range so this one is not part this one is part although that might seem to be intersected with that vertical line test there but since one is not included that means this is still function now this can be seen in your piecewise function so i hope you've learned piecewise function this is sometimes one of the graph of your piecewise function let's go to the next one now next one here we have vertical line that passes through negative two and we've got our equation for this one as our x equal to negative 2 because our line our vertical line in there passes through your x with negative 2 as the value so if this is the case that you've got vertical line as the graph of your equation automatic your vertical line test if you are trying to draw the vertical line this will be passing through identical to that vertical line as your graph for the equation that means more points or that there will be more points intersected by that vertical line and so with the graph so this is not function anymore so we go to the next one this next one if you try to draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph you would not see any um two points intersected in there so it will only be with one point so this is function next we go for this one this is really really obvious if you try to draw a vertical line in here you would have two points intersected with a vertical line and so with the graph so this is not function so i hope that helps out in determining your function or not function with the graph as your representation so this is your teacher jenny saying good luck and have a nice day everybody hope you learned something from me don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment if you wanted me to do to to discuss something on my next video thank you